Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.6 and problem number 2.85. A bar AB of length L is supported as shown in the figure. At any point along its length, a vertical load Q can be applied. Determine the position of this load for which the tensile force S yes, in the cable BC will be a maximum and evaluate same if the various angles are shown in the figure. In calculation, neglect the weights of the bar and the cable. That means a bar AB is supported like this. At A, I can find a hinged support and at B, it is tied with an another cable BC. Q is applied at somewhere on the bar A. Our interest is to find where this Q is to be supported in such a way that the force in BC is maximum. For that, let us consider the free body diagram of bar AB. Now, at A is a hinged support, hence I can find two reactions and a weight applied load Q, applied load Q, which is at a distance of x, we don't know this distance. Our interest is to find this distance x only. And at the end, a string is attached, hence a string force will develop along the bar BC. So, so this is the free body diagram of the bar AB. A weight Q is applied at a distance of x and the string force S. Yes. Now, bar AB makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal and the string BC makes an angle 15 degrees with the bar. Hence, S makes an angle total of 75 degrees with the horizontal. So, I can resolve this S force along horizontal and vertical. Now, at A, I can find two reactions. That is S cos 75 and S sin 75. At A, I can find two reactions, that is RAH and RAV. Our interest is to find the value of X so that S is maximum. So for that, I will take the moments about point A. In this case, RAH and RAV are passing through the point A will not introduce any moment. So Q will introduce a moment like this. S cos 75 will also introduce the moment in the same direction. But S sin 75 will introduce the moment in the opposite direction. Next, we require the distances. So, this is the line of action of Q. And I want this distance. Now, this AB makes an angle 60 with the horizontal. Hence, this angle is 60 and this distance is X. So, I can find this distance that is X into cos 60. Similarly, S yes, cos 45 into this distance I want, this distance, the total length is L and this angle is given as a 60. So, this is opposite side, you can say it is L into sin 60. Similarly, this is the line of action for S yes, sin 75 and I, this distance. And this distance, the total distance is L into cos 60. Hence, I can apply the moments about point A. So, if you take the moments about point A, the Q multiplied by the perpendicular distance X cos 60 plus S cos 45 into the perpendicular distance L sin 60. The force is S cos 75 and the distance is L sin 60. So, hence it is S cos 75 into L sin 60. So, these two will create the moments west direction. But this S sin 75 will create a moment in the up opposite side. Hence it is minus force is S sin 75 into perpendicular distance is L cos 60 that is equal to 0. So, this I can simplify. And upon simplifi simplification, I will get 0.5 into Qx 
plus 0.22 yes l minus 0.48 yes l is equal to 0 from this i can simplify yes is equal to 1.92 into q x by l for yes to be maximum what is the maximum value of x x is equal to l if x is equal to l yes we will get the maximum and what is that maximum value yes max is equal to 1.92 into q by l is the answer and x is equal to l is the another answer for the given problem.